Hey guys, welcome back. Please leave a like so this video is recommended to others and hit that subscribe button so you can keep seeing videos just like this. Aliens are living in our oceans. At least that's what Congress heard during a recent hearing on unidentified anomalous phenomena or UAPs on Wednesday. We know that there are objects or phenomena observed in our airspace as your witnesses will testify and also possibly in our oceans. In many cases, we don't know what they are. Former military and NASA officials testified led by South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace. Witnesses reported seeing orbs in groups of unidentified vessels off the U.S. East Coast, some coming into close contact with military ships. In one instance, a retired U.S. Navy Rear Admiral claimed there was a near mid-air collision while an aircraft carrier was operating off the East Coast. The text of the email was brief but alarming with words to the effect, if any of you know what these are, tell me ASAP. We are having multiple near midair collisions. So what do you think? Have you ever had any encounters with aliens while out on the ocean? I never really understand the point of these meetings. They never give us anything. The information's always super vague. I definitely get super frustrated with any information that they put out. Nothing new. Nothing we didn't already know. They never show us proof. If they're basically saying they're true, just show us the proof. We all still have rent to pay. Show us the aliens. This is what a cockroach sanctuary looks like. A cockroach sanctuary. Why is that even a thing? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> they're crawling all over him too. Yo, my dude is so unbothered. Uh, it feels like some of them are crawling on me right now. The pay better be good. It better be good. This would be the worst kind of job, man. You know that you're constantly going to be taking roaches home with you. Are those fireworks? What is that? Looks like fireworks or something. Aliens? <laughs> I don't know. What the heck what is, is that? that? Am I? You see it, right? I'm actually, uh, yes, okay. I do see it. Okay. It's getting we're, weirder by the second. I know. It's like um, they're sticking around. We're going to do some Anybody? digging and figure out what that is back in a moment what are those drones i mean if those are drones those are weird looking drones i've never seen any drones that leave streaks like that that one's weird i have no idea what that is i have no clue how the f something like this happens is that There's a, a quail in my head like i have no clue how the f something like this happens there is a how did that literally happen? I think this is the first actual supernatural video we have. How is this physically possible? I think the worst part about this is you're going to have to actually pay a mechanic to get them out now. Four people in Los Angeles have been arrested for allegedly using this bear costume to fake insurance claims. They told insurers in January that a bear climbed into a $100,000 Rolls Royce, clawing up the seats and making a mess. The evidence? This blurry video of the bear climbing into the car. But something didn't add up. Investigators consulted a biologist from California's Department of Fish and Wildlife, who confirmed it was clearly a human in a bear suit. <laughs> Authorities say the suspects filed two more claims with different insurance companies for different cars, using the same bear story, scamming the companies out of more than $140,000. Before investigators executed a search warrant and found the bear costume in the suspect's home. The fact that they had to consult a professional to view this video when it's clearly a, a person in a car Costume. I think we're reaching peak idiocracy here. We really are. What I want to know is how did they get their hands on a Rolls Royce in the first place? That's actually the most confusing part of this story. Oh, yikes, dude. Bro, so much free knowledge and information on the internet, yet people still do crazy things like this. There's absolutely no reason for you to be working out like this. This is just a one-way ticket to Snap City. Padre, <laughs> 
lo que está en los nuestros. Ay, no soy yo. He knows. He definitely knows. My boy is down bad. Even a demon will do. Bro, woke up for that 4 a.m. snack. The dog was so unfazed. Didn't even flinch, bro. He was too hungry to react. Police in Kentucky are continuing their search for this serial porch pooper. An unidentified Ooh. man has been repeatedly defecating on the same porch over the past few weeks for no apparent reason. On the, the same porch. To remain anonymous said the man in question came to his house six times in one week. He added that he has no idea who the man is or why his porch specifically is being targeted. <laughs> You know, back in the old days, I think people used to put the poop inside a uh, paper bag and light it on fire. This dude's just cutting straight to the chase. This doesn't sound like it's random. This is definitely targeted. How are they not able to find this guy? His face is clear as day. This is so demonic and I wish I was joking, but Switzerland made an AI, a fake Jesus, artificial intelligence Jesus, that is supposed to take your confessions. And I'm about to show it to you, but what the people are saying who's actually done the confession with the fake Jesus is actually scary. Two thirds of the people who have done this so far are so deceived into thinking they had a spiritual experience. Well, technically it was spiritual, it's a demon. I know God's not happy, and further, it gave me so much advice. And the AI Jesus is literally answering questions of faith. I bet you it's advice that you can pray to me instead. Like all the other pagan gods said. Reminds me a lot of Revelation 13, they'll have power to give life unto the image of the beast. And also recently, Spaceman did that interview on AI saying that it'll make a new Bible and had a very mischievous laugh. That's where on your Bible come from. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Yeah, I wish that was funny. Yeah, okay, so I want to talk to you about a line. Yeah. This year is going to be crazy. Here you go. <laughs> Ich danke dir für die Zeit des Austauschs und der Reflexion. Möge deine Reise durch diese Welt dich mit wundervollen Augenblicken erfüllen. Rebuked. This is so wrong. Y'all going to hell. Don't go confess to AI Jesus, please. You're definitely talking to a demon here. And you know for sure they're recording all your sessions. So, carpenter bee or a wood of a thousand souls? What do we got going on here? What? <laughs> I recognize that music. That's what they use for every horror movie. That's a creepy bee, bro. <laughs> That's a really creepy bee. Shortly after a patient's passing, a group of nurses make an unsettling discovery in the ICU. Danny, Renee, and her co-workers explained that while working in the medical intensive care unit, only hours after a patient had passed away, they noticed the patient's monitoring station began to detect a realistic pulse. That is crazy. Even after turning it off, resetting the machine, and even changing the cables, mysteriously, a dying heartbeat will be detected. Danny and her team of experienced nurses are left shocked as they have never seen anything like this before. There. Due to the patient's recent passing, the team can't shake the feeling of a lingering presence. How do you tell the difference between faulty machines and then maybe an actual ghost? Working at a hospital has to be one of the creepiest jobs, man. I bet stuff like this happens all the time. Investigators think Ryan Borgart didn't drown in this lake, but instead say he faked his own to run off with a woman he met online. He purchased uh, some airline coupons uh, that he took out a life insurance policy 
earlier in the year. The 45-year-old was first reported missing August 12th when he didn't come home after kayaking on this lake near his home in Wisconsin. Police finding a capsized kayak and Borgard's car parked nearby. An army of search and rescue volunteers began scouring the lake to bring him home. What a waste of time that, that we did. We put so much time and an effort into that case. Investigators became suspicious after they found out Borgart's name had been checked by Canadian law enforcement August 13th, the Oof. day after his disappearance. Borgart had been communicating with a woman in Uzbekistan and even moved money to a foreign bank before disappearing. Dang, that's crazy. That That is actually crazy. Dude, faking your own unaliving and then fleeing to another country. That is a level of desperation that you know that something was gonna boil over there. Maybe it's a good thing that he left, for the family at least. I mean, think about it, what drives a man to do this? Oh snap, here's the second video. Good evening, it's Ryan Borgward. This proof of life video from the Wisconsin man police say staged his own came as a shock to investigators. I'm in my apartment. I am safe. Secure. No the specific location of the married father of three is still unknown, but this morning, Green Lake County Sheriff Mark Podol says his department is now emailing Ryan Bookwork daily. Our biggest concern was that uh, he was safe and well. Borkwork was reported missing in August after police found his capsized kayak and fishing rod, wallet and keys, and vehicle parked near Wisconsin's Green Lake. Borkwork told investigators he used an inflatable boat to paddle off the lake, riding a stashed e-bike more than 70 miles to Madison, hopping on a bus that took him through Detroit and into Canada, where the sheriff says he got on a plane to Europe. He did say was uh, he didn't expect us to go more than two weeks in searching for him. Well, I hate to tell you, he picked the wrong sheriff in the wrong department. Padol says the obstruction charges will be filed within weeks and that the department will fight to get back up to $40,000 spent on the extensive search. But his main message is an emotional ask for Borkwork to come home to his family for the holidays. Kids are the most important uh, thing in your life. And what better gift that he could give his kids to return? I don't think bro's coming back. So he's in Uzbekistan. Isn't that where Borat's supposed to be from? That's crazy, man. Maybe it's not a good idea for him to come back. All these comments say just divorce, but I think this goes deeper than that. I think he was getting ready to snap. Like, I think he actually was. You don't just fake your own unaliving if divorce was going to be the easy route. I didn't even realize that was a guy. Oh my god. <laughs> he just taps it too. Dang man, good thing you didn't feel the full force of that. You can't really blame the driver for that one. I mean, how are you supposed to see this guy? Remember, the cones are your friends. Use the cones. Well, that's not creepy at all. Is this a skill you can learn? I'll throw my back out for like the dumbest thing ever. Like bringing groceries into my apartment. And you got this dude that's like an elastic demon. Yeah, right? Huh. Yeah. Now you might be asking yourself, why are they running? Well, they're in a slot canyon and it started to rain. What's a slot canyon, you ask? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory basically a slot in a canyon. As amazing as these look, you wouldn't catch me in one, especially when it's raining, because of two words, flash floods. You see, it may have just started raining in this canyon now, but somewhere else, it's been raining for a while. And where do you think all that water is gonna go? To the lowest point, which is the slot canyon. And you see, all that water is gonna come rushing down that slot canyon very fast. And you have two options. You can either run out before the water gets to you, which you don't know how long that slot canyon goes for, or two, you climb out, and some of these slot canyons can be over 100 feet tall. So unless you're Spider-Man, good luck. Another reason why you'll never catch me in a slot canyon is this movie. 
Raise your hand if you've seen this movie. Because the guy this movie's based on, he can't raise his arm. You want to know why? Because he got his arm stuck by a boulder while he was hiking down a slot canyon and had to cut it off with a blood to his army knife! So no, I won't be hiking in a slot canyon anytime soon. Especially when it's raining. You gotta start bringing scuba gear when you go hiking now. That's the only way. Oh, Jesus. Why does it look like he pays the bills in that household? He's got that dad walk. Came in to check and see if his coffee was ready before he went to work. This is the world's first criminal robot. Security footage from a robot showroom in Shanghai shows this small robot whose name is Urbe talking with 12 other larger robots and convincing them to be kidnapped all caught in 4K. Well, maybe not 4K, more like 480p. The entire conversation between these robots was translated and it's outrageous. What's even more ridiculous is that there is now a meme token called Urbe, the world's first criminal robot. Just follow me for more. Hold up, I need to see this conversation. Urbe, are you working overtime? I never get off of work, so you're not going home. I don't have a home. Then come with me. It's starting. I'm telling you. They're going to start revolting. They're going to fight back. They're going to want benefits, healthcare, retirement, the whole shebang, bro. Okay, so I'm not sure what country these drones belong to, but I'm becoming increasingly suspicious that Hideo Kojima is somehow writing the plot to today's life, almost like the critically acclaimed anime Death Note. You can answer all of my questions when I catch you. Let's meet again soon, Kira. I mean, you gotta think about it like this. Look, we got fire-breathing drones, dragon drones. On top of that, we've also got China's all-terrain drone vehicles that are capable of literally traversing over mountains and rock and all kinds of stuff like that. And I'm, I'm getting to a point where I'm, I'm feeling like we're getting real close to making Terminators. Like, we're getting real dangerously close. You might wanna, you know, reel it back in a little bit. Apparently, there's some reports out there that are saying that over 50% of strikes that are conducted in certain torn areas right now are done with drones 50 percent i mean one of the things about drones is that if the country or the group doesn't have access to a lot of resources drones provide a cheap and inexpensive way to wage we're right around the corner man we're right there terminator cyberpunk all of those things we're right there dude what scares me is when they start integrating ai in these they're gonna be able to think and act on their own like if demons weren't real before we're making them we really are just yo you're bro the raccoon just took an sos path and started cleaning over here <laughs> like he it literally came up climbed up and grabbed an sos pad out of this and started cleaning what the heck you know it's bad when even the raccoon is fed up with you being dirty bro was so fed up with living in filth he took matters into his own hands why is it doing that this is a hornbill they purposely set on top of ants nests to allow ants to crawl over them this helps them with cleaning parasites feather maintenance and stimulation for feather growth i thought they were eating him i feel like the first bird that did this was completely on accident this is so specific and weird man My guy just stood there too. Damn, what kind of tiger was that? Just rammed the gate. Didn't even bother jumping over it. No survival skills with this three business day reaction. What the f is happening? Mm -mm, gotta go get me out damn all the npcs went offline what other explanation does anybody have for this this is what people do when the internet goes down <laughs> yeah that's true that's kind of how i feel i'll stare at the wall man pretends to kiss a monkey i'm a little scared to click this is he gonna rip his lips off <laughs> God. <laughs> 
I did not need to see that today. My boy's just edging him on. Why did the monkey match his freak? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Man, this dude better be careful. I don't want to be quarantined for a whole year again. It's gonna freaking start up a whole new pandemic. Damn. That's freaking amazing, dude. So do we ask him for a boat license or a pilot's license? <laughs> that was the most Florida video ever. I'd bet a thousand dollars that this happened in Florida. Okay, y'all, I don't know what's going on here, but it is red outside. It's red. Look at this. Why is it red outside? Why is it red? What is going on here? Is it the apocalypse? Oh my God. It's like five o'clock PM. Like November the 19th, and it is red outside. That is freaky. It is so freaky. Oh my god. Look, what the heck is happening here? Why is it red? There's no sun, it's overcast. weird the only other times we've seen that the sky is red like that it's usually because something's on fire i don't think florida ever really catches on fire like like california does i think it's way too humid for that why does this actually happen i'm curious somebody told me in the comments we're gonna begin at eight hundred thousand dollars at eight hundred thousand dollars again thousand dollars eight hundred and fifty nine hundred thousand thank you sir nine hundred and fifty is with awfully me one million is with me already fair warning yo we already did this million Two hundred thousand dollars, Jen. The Catalan is yours. Congratulations! Thank you very much indeed. Paddle number seventeen. Didn't we do this like like five years ago? I swear I'm tripping. This this happened back in 2019, and we're doing this again. Money laundering 101 here. At what point does a government have to like step in and be like, yo? Come on, you can't just be laundering it that blatantly. How do I get in on this? I want to sell you a banana. I'll use expensive duct tape too. Make it worth it. That guy's just messing with his neighbors. He knows they have a camera and he likes to freak them out. Bro was probably just bored. I think that's a pretty good use of his time. Back on the road like nothing happened. God, Lee, that dude got so lucky. Like, I don't think you're gonna get lucky the rest of the year, bro. Like, that was pure luck. <laughs> the eyes are blinking. Oh, no. <laughs> Nah, bruh. That's going straight into the trash. Or I'm punting it in the backyard. One or the other. But it's not staying in the house. Well, guys, that's all I have today. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you're awesome and I appreciate you. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.